Okay, this is Makarov owner. I'm going to be doing 7.62x45 uh, reloading. Um, and actually, I just cast some bullets. These are made out of the copper jackets from 223. And then I put them through a bored out um, 312 160 grain bullet die from Lee. So I'm going to go ahead and run these up and through the sizer real quick at uh, 311. I'm just going to run a couple of them. The bullets that I had been running were uh, 311. They're out of the same die or the same mold. But I altered the mold here not too long ago. And when I did that, uh, the bullets that I'd already ran, they were good through the 7.62x45, just the regular lead cast. Um, but I ran out of those. So I had to end up kind of changing the program mid-stride here, and it uh, really uh, made it difficult on me, I must say. So... Um, but that's the way she goes, you know, when you're trying experimental stuff, right? So anyway, I've got a couple of jacketed bullets there. I'm going to go ahead and put a primer in this case here. And I'm going to do taboo and just hammer it in because, uh, honestly, my, um, what do you call it? My little priming tool on the press here won't work for this base because the base was turned down a little bit and won't stay into the shell holder. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and put some uh, powder in here. And I'm going to fill it basically to the bottom shoulder line. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a bullet in there. And uh, usually they go in pretty easy. I might have to start it a little bit. This is a 30 caliber decapper. I can just kind of wiggle it a little bit. And now she should start in. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a I believe it's a 7.62x39. Um, I could use a bullet seater that way. But honestly a lot of times once they're starting to slip I feel like that one's going in. I'm really not going to need anything else now. So now I'm going to run this guy down. I'm trying to get that to where people can see it. I'm basically going to run it in. Let's see if I can do it holding it like this. We're going to run into 236. It can be between 234 and 236 for this load. I don't want to be over though. So at 2359 or 236, that's weird, it's bouncing a little. There we go. That's good. And now I need to do my bullet seat. And for that guy, I'm using a 7.62x39 bullet seater. Um, excuse me, I've already done the bullet seat. What am I doing? I guess I'm not paying attention. I'm going to use the 7.62x39. Um, crimper, is that right? Yeah, what are you doing there? Anyway, this guy, it's the 762 by 39 crimper. I got some dice spread out, and I shouldn't, and that becomes problematic when we're doing stuff. Let's check the function. Nice. And I'll go easy just to make sure I'm not making a mistake. And there we go. So that's completed cartridge. And uh, you can see the primer's in there nice. It's not sticking out. It's not, you know, I've done a number of those. You probably shouldn't as a practice, but I haven't had any of them blow up. Um, that would be the worry. So anyway, there's that guy, and then I got my old rifle here. I got the mag in it already, and I'm just gonna test. 
and it looks like it's going to the chamber fine. So I'm going to shove it down into the magazine and slap it. It does, and it ejects. So we're ready to go for next time. So anyway, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.